I got some secret wars going on over here. Are they secret? Yeah. It's a secret. Okay, quiet. Hey, everybody. We're here for the new episode of RLG Cast tier listing. We're going to be tier listing Friday the 13th, the entire franchise, all the movies on a tier list. I'm here with Johnny Donuts, 777. You'll find his stuff below. And I'm here with Vincent Price as Eggman, also known as Super Mario. <laughs> uh, I'll get you, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh, that's good. I forgot about that Eggman. Uh, that's a different Eggman. Putty Man, Eggman, Jim Carrey. Uh, anyways, I'm here with Putty Man. You'll find his stuff in the description below. But we're just going to get right into tier list line. Johnny Donuts, will you please bring up the tier list? Absolutely. This tier list brings a oh, tier to my eye. Uh, Sorry? What? Okay. Uh -huh. So we're going to jump right into this. I don't know if Put Putty's doing things. Uh, so we'll, let's start it off here. You can You can host this one, J.D. Okay, sure. Um, first one in the film, Friday the 13th. Um, Jason was not the killer. It was Jason's mother. Spoiler for a 30, 40 year old movie. Fuck, but, man. Uh... <laughs> I'm done with you this. You know what? Oh, we should also guys. state this. The, the tiers are best, A, B, C, and worst. There can only be one movie in best, and there in can best. only be one movie in worst. Oh, great. Um, oh, we want to no. make it difficult. There's only yes. 12 movies here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Friday the 13th, the first one. Uh, I like this movie a lot. Yep, so did as I. As young Kevin Bacon. Yes. And to me, this is an A. Yeah, I, yeah. I could agree, I agree with that. Totally an A. It's the original, so why would not? Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, what movie is this one, JD? This one's Friday the 13th Part 2. This is the one where Jason is actually the killer for the first time. He mm -hmm. doesn't have his iconic hockey mask in this one, though. Yes, he has a burlap sack. sack. I actually like the burlap sack. I wish they'd bring it back somehow. I really do. But yeah, I like the burlap sack, actually. Hey. So for me, know. I would be a high B, low A. I actually like uh, 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 the second uh, uh, Friday the 13th movie. So. In all fairness, the first three movies were really good. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, the second one is is fine. This Not is... as good as the first. I don't no. think so. Uh, no. Okay, let's just for the sake of... We're gonna probably rearrange things. Let's just call this. Us. No, we'll put in A. We'll put in an put an A. A for now. Okay. Okay. Next, we have Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. This is where Jason gets his iconic hockey mask. Yes. Um, okay, so I'm, well, yeah, this one is basically a three D gimmick. Mm -hmm. that, oh, that's, that's right. I forgot. Yeah, it was Friday the Thirteenth Part Three D. And that that kind of for me took takes away a lot from it. And I'll, go ahead. I was gonna say I'm, I'm back in. I'm, I'm trying to remember if I, I saw this. I know I saw Nightmare on Elm Street, and the, the 3D version of that. But I'm trying to remember. Did this, this came before that, right? Yeah, I believe so. so. The Nightmare, I mean, the Nightmare on Elm Street one. Okay, because this was remember. 1982. Okay, yeah, no, though, then I didn't see this one in theaters. So then, yeah, I didn't get to experience that because I know I actually kind of liked it with, when it comes to the Freddy movie, but it wasn't the movie wasn't good itself. But I so I figured this one would at least be better than the the than you know the, the Nightmare on Elm Street version for um, me. In 3D. For me, this one's a little bit lower down. This is where mm -hmm. okay. So the first movie was not Jason, right? Uh, right. It's an iconic movie though. The second one is where we get Jason, and I think that's important. The third yeah. one is is where we entered the era of the '80s, where slasher mm -hmm. movies stopped really trying to gimmicks. be horror. Yeah, and it came to these gimmicks and like slutty kids. Yeah, like I know that sounds bad. Yeah. Uh, is this the one with the famous uh, with the famous sleeping bag beating? I'm pretty sure it is this one. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, no. it is. is, it? It is okay, one. see, but I like that. I did like that scene. There's good very kills iconic. in this, but it's yeah. very tropey. I cannot put this higher than a B. Yeah, I'm I agree. That. Okay. Next, we have Friday the 13th, part four. This is where they started adding a subtitle or a sub name, I guess, yeah. a subtitle to the title of the film. This was called The Final Chapter. This Ironically, is where they... it's not the final chapter. No, no, but it's really good in my eyes. Honestly. This is Corey Feldman. Yes. This is, I believe, his first big role. Um, I thought he was in this... six as well. He probably appears for like moments, but it's a different. Isn't character. he the guy that reanimates he's Jason? Tommy Jarvis. Sucks. Yeah, oh, right. he, it's not Corey Feldman. It's played by someone else. He's also yeah. in the fifth movie. Um, so Tommy Jarvis is like 
the Sydney Prescott or the uh, what's Jamie Lee Curtis's name? I already forgot. The Laurie, Laurie Strode. Strode of this yeah. franchise. Yep. Um, the Nancy, whatever her name is. So I, this is for me. This is the best. I, I yeah. I, I, outside of another one that's in there, yeah, it is. It just okay. Well, let's the... get them in a place for now. Okay. You can kind of sure. agree with that. I, I, I agree with this. This is the this was like because we all thought it was ending. So the the final scene was gratifying in this one. Oh yeah, I, I can agree with the best. Okay, I mean so, that's the thing. It's competing with another one. I'll keep it there right now. But we'll we'll, we'll I'm, discuss I'm it when it comes then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Friday the Thirteenth Part Five: A New Beginning. We so, bring Jason back to life, even though technically he's not. Jason. Jason's not even in this movie. Nope. And the Tommy Jarvis stuff uh, is possessed. I think it, it's, it's he's it's possessed by him. Right? There's a scene with a guy who has a mental disability, Disorder. Yeah. and they play it as like a com- comedy thing. <laughs> and it's uh, it was the eighties. <laughs> I know, but like it's funny because when you're not when you don't think of those things, you watch and you're like, okay, dumb horror movie. Now when you watch, it, you're like, okay, yeah, I get it. This is like, it's a little uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, like they got away with a lot of shit in the eighties. They gave him a lot of chocolate bars. Yeah, they did. Uh, I I do not like this movie. No. Nope. In terms I... of personal dislike, this is my least favorite. No, no, no. I can name. I, I, I'm not going to put it. I I wouldn't put it in worst, but this was pretty bad. I I can agree with it. I can in see C. C low B. Yeah. yeah, it's not. There's no way I'm letting you have a B. I say uh, I can, the worst. Okay, I'm, I, I don't know. Okay. I, I mean, we'll 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 discuss what it comes when it comes to um. All right, next we have Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives. This is where they actually reanimate Jason's body. This is my favorite Friday the 13th movie. See, this is the one I'm competing with best. This This is is the one. It it is my favorite by far. It is definitely not the best. Yeah, I can agree with that too. I I can put it in the top of the A tier. This is my thing, right? Uh, um, Like, just to get, because like top of the A is like amazing. Uh, but, putty, make an argument for it to be the best. Then it's it's just like not a extremely well made movie. Yeah. No, no, you're right. I, I, again, here's my thing. I, but once we get past, we get past like uh, the the third one. Uh, like here's my thing. When you get past the third one, it, it's it's got it's a little too to gimmicky. Trope. Well, yeah, I was doing that trope and everything, um, which you know I kind of got used to it and loved it for it because I feel like it really works later with another movie. Because I was so used to it that I actually got to enjoy that more fun. Because at that point, I wasn't scared of, of Jason. I was just more like, I want the bad guy to win. I'm having fun with this. Does that makes sense? Mm-hmm. It wasn't really, oh my God, I'm scared. Because if I'm going to contribute that, that would be stuff like when they were doing new stuff like with Ring, the Ring and stuff like that. Where it was, you know, more more getting your, you, you make the thing scary on your own. You know what I mean? It's very, very visceral in that way. This, just gore. So, I mean, seriously, I agree. I will leave it in a... I do. It's hard for me though between that and the, and, and uh, that and um, um, freaking uh, freaking the final chapter. The final chapter. Remember yeah. the number? Yeah, I can remember the number right now. Um, four. Yeah, four. Thank you. Um, so I'll, I'll keep that there and everything. Um, but, but it's a close for me, honestly. Yeah. In both of them. I can agree with that. Mm. Okay, moving on to the next one. We have Friday the Thirteenth Part. Is it seven? A new blood. We're up there. Yeah. yeah. Part seven. A new blood. This features the first appearance of Kane Hodder as Kane. One of many appearances. He's, I think, the one who served as Jason for the longest. Yeah, I believe yeah. so. I uh, mean, I, I enjoyed uh, it. I, 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 it was one of those ones that, you know, uh, it was it just felt typical, though, still. You know what yeah, I mean? This is, is the one with this, the telekinetic girl, this is right? The girl, yeah. I, but it, it made, like, it felt like this is the point when we start to realize, well, I know what happens in the last movie, kind of, but that, like, he yeah. is, like, supernatural power. Like at this is the point where we've established for sure he is. Yeah, mm-hmm. because at the end of six they drown him in the lake, and in the beginning of seven this telekinetic girl revives him. Yeah, and uh, her having the powers is pretty cool. It also we get the scene. I believe this is the one where the mask breaks in half. Yes, and his face mm-hmm. is all messed up, which is my favorite Jason in yeah. the game, the Friday the Thirteenth. Oh, that game was so fun. Didn't they just they they took the servers down, didn't they? Yeah, but it's still we still play. We do every single Halloween. You can still we... play it. Yeah. Okay. They're well, just I, mean, not updating. I thought they did take the servers down. Hey, I'm I'm, I'm representing eight bit purple Jason all the time now. Every time purple I play it, I, I love doing eight bit uh you know I purple Jason. And he has um, purple Jason. I don't I I don't wanna put this in B. Really? 
I don't think it's a very good movie, even though I have a good time watching it. Dead low B, at least it's, like a, like a it's low ahead B. of C guy for sure. Like, I, I feel okay, like okay, I'm saying first C. C Putty saying low B. JD, solve the the. Uh, I'm here. saying top tier C. It's fun, but it's not the greatest movie. <sighs> okay, well I'm well, okay. Totally that's why the... there's three of us, so that one yeah, person yeah. decides. I mean, I'm happy with that. Um, uh, the hot doo doo butter that is Jason takes Manhattan. <laughs> okay, so here this is this is tied for worse for me with another one. So it's no, be, this guys, is the other... worst one. <laughs> Well, there's another one. I am going to agree with both of you and say this is worst. Yeah. We can make an argument later, but right now... This one was pretty bad. I know which one you're talking about, Putty, and that's coming up. But but Let's let's do this. What's on the paper right now, this is the worst. This is the worst, yes. Absolutely. We still have four movies to go through. Yes, this is the one where Jason actually... Was he gets on an ocean liner and ends up in... He gets on like a party cruise ship. He yeah. has nothing it to do with New York except one work. scene. It wasn't even filmed in New York, I don't think. No, I think you it's in Vancouver. Funny? I actually forgot this movie. It was the memes out there that remind me, oh, yeah, this movie exists. Like, it was one of those things where it's like, you know, you, you can't take them off Elm Street. You can't take them out of Camp Crystal Lake. And when they did this, well, I mean, they do it twice. And you know where I'm going with that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's, we'll get we'll get to that because I guarantee you the other one is the one I'm competing for worst as well. Yeah, we'll get, so, yeah. Well, we'll get to that. Um, next we have part. They didn't name this one part nine. This was just called Jason Goes to Hell: The I, Final Friday. And once again, they thought this was going to be the final Friday the Thirteenth. This was movie. the gimmick ones. I actually like this. I know a lot of people hate this. I actually because of the gimmicky and funness of this, I love this movie. I feel like this is where they were definitely going towards another character that we are yep. going to in the later. And I'm glad they did. So this is well at the movie. end. At the as a spoiler, as you see Jason's mask lying on the ground, you see the knived glove of Freddy Krueger come and grab it and pull it down. Which is funny because we got another entire movie before we got that. Before we got this, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But but that's my whole point, though. I I just was so excited when I saw that, that moment. Because they did, did, uh, you know, uh, uh, they did Evil Dead references, things of that nature. But, like, this was... Like my, I felt like my childhood coming tr- true and everything because I was always on the side. I wanted to see these two come together. Kind of like I think Michael Myers and um, who was the other one they always wanted to put together? There was someone else they always wanted Pinhead. to put together. Yes, Pinhead. That was kind of like that whole situation. We wanted these two to come together. So to see the mask and all that kind of stuff, that made me excited. And that and alone think, put high on me just, just alone. This one also broke the streak. We had seven or eight yearly releases, and this was three years between the or four years between the release of Jason Takes Manhattan and Oh well, yeah, because Manhattan was so bad. They were it like, was so bad. Yeah, they had yeah. to take a bit of a hiatus. I mean, this was fun. I mean, I can put it in low B's Campo. What would you say? I want I want it in low this A. Is, I really like it. This Sorry. is uh above the fifth movie. Yeah, okay. Let's do that okay, just for the that. just whoa, for the whoa, whoa. hey ho that is the fifth that's movie. the third movie the fifth movie oh here so now you decide no. where it goes God no hmm. what did you guys now you guys take what you I said, said low A I like it I'm, this movie is fucking shit it's fun well, shit if you though, say here I'll point. I'll put it I'll put it let's meet in the middle I'll if put it gonna, over if you want to put it in the bottom of B I'll allow it since you both seem to like it but okay I enjoyed it yeah it was fun it. If you take away the Freddy scene, Putty does not like this movie. Well, no, I do like the movie, but I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. That's I said it's very campy, but I feel like it was a funner campy than other. It was. Cars. It was a departure from the last film. And which... Manhattan, Manhattan really made this one look good too. I think. I yeah, really that's true. Like that's the last film. Uh... Yeah. So now we are going to time travel nine years into the future Worst. for <laughs> for Jason X. They couldn't even call it 10 because they were done numbering it at this point. They just called it Jason it's... X. Okay. Jason in outer space. Okay, 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 okay. Hear me out. Here's hear the me reason out. Why... Hold on, before you do that, Kevin. Here, here's the thing. You go from Manhattan, then you go to uh, go to hell, which I was like, okay, we got a break from it. And then they're like, then they went back and said, well, if you didn't like Manhattan, because it's way uh, too far from Crystal Lake, we'll go somewhere a little further. It's like, do you not understand the concept? We want to be at Crystal Lake and you went further away. Like, it just doesn't make sense. <laughs> This was hot garbage, to be oh. fair. But I so hear, like me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. This movie is better than Jason Goes to Hell. No. However, no. because of how high you put Jason Goes to Hell, I cannot justify that. It's low. This is it's... definitely better than the fifth movie, 100%. <sighs> yes, 
A little, this yeah. Movie is At so least this had Jason, and it knows that it's I hot garbage. I get that, but yeah. And it had the girl from Andromeda in it too, didn't it? it? But it absolutely knows that it's fucking hot garbage. It took a slasher to space, like it knows what it is. It it's even mocked the. It stupid. mocked. It mocked the sleeping bag scene. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I mean, again, but I feel like that that was selling to the audience because at, at that point, like. I feel like it's kind of like, hey, look, we got this in here because we put him in space. I was still like, but you're still in space. Listen, you're, I you gave you can't freaking, make a shit look. Pretty, I gave you, know? you Jason goes to hell in B. Give me this ahead of the fifth movie. Uh, I can do that. Uh, I can do that. I, but I can I, do I, that. That breaks my heart because I, in my eyes, issue right there was worst. I wish you could, we allowed for worse. That's how bad I feel. No, the, but, the one thing I remember about this film is there's this kid who gets his arm frozen cryogenically and he's like waving to himself in the f- <laughs> legendary. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad it's good no it's not no new that's, york that, is no. manhattan is not good no it's so I, bad whatever. it's bad in a, in a way i can agree with campo i'll watch this one just on the cheese factor yeah it's mm. totally it has manhattan such a i cannot time. manhattan i cannot sit through and it also yet. five watch five i either one of you go right now and watch five you won't even finish the movie no five like you said about the whole uncomfortable no jason it mocks basically mental health like it's and it has it, terrible acting. Like, mm-hmm. and there's a whole side story. I just want to get this out there since we're talking about it again. There's a whole side story of the most like stereotypical idea of what hillbilly inbred people are, and mm-hmm. it has nothing to do with the rest of the movie. I get but it, it takes up it takes up half of the runtime. This stupid ass story with these. No, no one's, no one's ever. I'm not, I'm not sitting here that a bunch of tourists lying around and one's polished. That means that other tourists are any better. It's still all three pieces of shit. That I just wish. Yeah, but I would garbage. rather eat that piece of shit. No, I would. No, I would rather eat. The, no, again, I don't agree on the, the shits that we're. Trying well, to you're the one saying. Okay, eat buddy, you're shit, trapped so. in a room and you're forced to eat two pieces of shit. Are you watching Manhattan? Or are you watching Jason? I, I don't want to eat either one. I'm gonna just fucking go eat the wall or eat a rat or something. Don't right, he's gonna eat yeah. a rat. Let's move on here. Um, next is the cross over 10 years in the making um basically yeah 10 years in the making came the year right after jason x this was freddy versus jason and i fucking love it i'm i'm i love it it's what i wanted and it turns out good like there's some things i could have wished that could happen and they're again they have the campiness but but again it worked they they found ways of doing things where they both worked on their fears, you know what I mean? And everyone, get, each one has a chance of, uh, uh, you know, owning the screen and, you know. You know I think this, this this was the first time after four movies we do not get Kane Hodder as Jason. That's probably, yeah, you're right. I think so. Yep. Either way, I really enjoyed it. I, 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 for me, even though it's not scary, it's more of an action-packed fun adventure where it, I feel like both of them won in their own way. That every fan gets what they want, you know what I mean? That like that they, they did it away to make sure every fan gets feels like they want it. For those that don't know, Freddie does end up getting decapitated here, but the whole story is that Freddie, no one remembers Freddie, and it's the only way you have to know Freddie exists in order for him to get into your nightmares. So they use Jason to refuel the idea that Freddie's yeah, alive. Freddy. Exactly. And so people are like, when people sit there say, Jason won, he's got his head, but like, but Freddie's still alive. He, they, what he accomplished has been accomplished. Freddie is a concept. As long as the concept is there, Freddie can always come back. Exactly. And that's why I love that they did that because then at the same time, Jason did win physically combat, but when it comes to mental combat, Freddie won. And I love that they use that concept. This for me, honestly, it's it's really high with things. I don't want to put it above one or anything like that, but at least I would say bottom A for me. Made, uh, 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 I really love it. I would love even take take top A, but no, no, I would bottom A. Bottom no, A. I couldn't do it in top yeah. A. It's yeah, not as right. good as the originals. But I can put it fun. in B. I can put it this ahead is of top B. Top B. Okay, I can agree with that. And speaking of Jason, it had a young Jason Ritter in it too. Yeah, it yeah. also has like the literal knockoff Jason Muse. It, <laughs> it, it, it this right. movie was just full of characters that looked like other famous people or i think kelly Rowland was in this movie too and she's uh-huh. so bad and she's in oh yeah i agree so yes. long there listen this movie's fun but it's not a well-made movie will it's, i watch it, it? Was, yes uh, but it does lachlan, not belong with those other lachlan movies. monroe i think was in it too 
it's one of those things yeah. where you want people to die it just because it's so much fun. That's it's reason a why slasher like it. for the sake of being a slasher. It's you're rooting for the bad guy. Where you're yeah. just like, yeah, kill everybody. Now you're just rooting for a bad guy, but you're picking which bad guy you're rooting for while just you want all the <laughs> victims to die. And it just it's it's fun that way. It's weird to think of that way, but it's true. So and I, they accomplished it in my eyes. So outside hey. of some people shouldn't have lived. Anyway, all right. Last movie on the list is the 12th film in the franchise, which rebooted the franchise, um, directed by the same guy who did the reboot of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Believe it or not. Um, Yeah. And this is a reboot. I think it follows more. It kind of mixes the first two films together in a way, but still tells its own story. It does. And uh, I, I mean, I saw this in theaters, and I remember that I really liked it. Mm-hmm. I watched it again, and I remember that I really liked it. It, in terms of like slasher remakes, it was way better than the Friday or uh, Nightmare. The on Nightmare one, yeah. Agreed. And it's better than Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends for Dad. I haven't sure. seen Halloween Ends yet, but um, what yeah. about is it better than the Rob Zombie Halloweens? Yes, this is a bottom A for me. Uh, see, no, this would be behind Jason, uh, Jason versus Freddy in my eyes. Freddy you know Jason. what? Let let me be the tiebreaker this way, and I'll pop it right here because Damn I enjoyed it. it. Not as good as the original. It's still in the A, putty. A is still a good movie. No, I'm not, I, I, I like Jason versus Freddy better than I actually. I, mean, I get it. I get it. I mean, it's a good movie. I'm not saying that, but I feel like. Wait, you think it's better than Part Two? Who me? JD. No, I thought Putty said it was better than no, Part Two. I was no, talking Putty about said oh. it's Freddy versus Jason. No, in that case, we'll pop it here. Okay. I thought Putty was arguing no, it for was, really better than Jason for, Lives. No, I was arguing for Jason versus. What about you, about Campo? What do you think? You think it's better than Jason versus? Uh... Yeah. I think okay. it's actually a well-made slasher movie that understands the tropes where Freddy versus Jason is fun, but it's it it, it knows that it's as hot garbage. It, it wants a kill count, basically, yeah. that movie. And yeah. and I there's five Fridays I'd rather watch than that, and there's a few nightmares I'd rather watch than that. So like to yeah. me I mean I guess, yeah, I can see it in that way. I don't know. I, I, that, it, it definitely for me, and I hate to say it, it's definitely the Freddy that adds to it. Because again, I've always been a Nightmare on Elm Street fan over, Fre- uh, you know, over Friday the Thirteenth, so I, I can see why you know I'm, I'm letting that be cloud my vision. But hey, again, I'm a Michael Myers guy, so yeah. But that's uh, what I'm saying. I'm that's a, out of these three, I'm a Friday guy, so uh, we just split up the group. Like well, Friday huh. with uh, Chris Tucker and Ice. Absolutely not. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what we need to do. We need to do a video where we all debate on who's the better uh, better slasher character, and we have one of those. Or that might we be. We did that video. already, didn't we? Okay. Well, I would like to add something that never to this because sure. I'm I'm okay with it's this. your video after all. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so just like out of the tier list, but I, Putty will be on this with me. So never hike alone. Uh. <laughs> I think Never Hike Alone is like in the top of A tier. I have got to agree with him, actually. If you've never seen Never Hike, they, they really, they really should have let them make a, a, a Friday Thirteen movie. Like it was amazing the way they did it in the low budget. It was really good. We're still waiting for the yeah. third movie. Um, Never Hike in the Snow is not as good as no. Never, Hike, Never Alone. Hike Alone. Never Hike Alone got a really good ratings, actually. It's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it, it's one of the best Jason movies that there is. Period. Now, my question, Campo, you might remember the Friday the 13th TV series that aired in Canada that didn't have anything to do with Jason. And there's also a a Nightmare on Elm Street series that had nothing to do with Freddy except for being the host. Yeah, so here's the thing. This is the funny part. But last time we talked about it, I I, I told him that there was a Nightmare on Elm Street series. I actually had no idea it was a Friday the 13th, and apparently it was in Canada. So I guess maybe they were like, you know what? We're going to give Canadians Jason. Canada had a Friday the 13th TV series and a RoboCop TV series. Oh, you're lucky. Oh, I didn't have a, we didn't have a RoboCop TV. And it was Rambo's really bad. animated series. <laughs> Wait, what? Rambo, the animated, the animated series. series. Okay, I've seen that. I think they actually brought that to the stage. Yeah, you guys had it too. I just yeah, wanted yeah. to yell it out. <laughs> no, but what's with the snorts, buddy? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Keep going. What are you doing, bro? Out of character. You're breaking up the podcast. All right. Um, 
Hold that's on, the hold list. On. Any 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 rearrangements or you guys go with I mean, that? I, I, I mean, I, there's a few I would rearrange, but I will, I'm I'll get live with it 100. I just wanted to check something because I want Jason X to go down one uh, one peg. I'm sorry, I want it to be down. Uh, I'm sorry, I want it to be down lower. On Fine, two. just give it to him since okay, he we'll get give you that, buddy. One. That's the only one I argue. We'll give you that. We'll give you that. But I mean, we with the top three, I'm sure we can agree with J, uh, the yeah. fi- uh, the final chapter, Jason Lives, and the original. Yeah, yeah, you you cannot go if you ever only watch two Friday the Thirteenth movies. It should be Jason Lives and Final Chapter. And the final, yeah, yeah. I want I want to figure out dates for all the movies so I could just interlace the 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 Jason yeah because you can't, you can you can you can. You can pretend the fifth movie doesn't exist. You can go right from four to four to six, and it it continues perfectly. Yeah, especially because the, the growth as Tommy as a character in five doesn't matter. No, because at all. He's done at the beginning of the sixth. Yeah, and this, he's the character he is in the sixth is the iconic one that everybody knows, remembers. Even yeah. though he's barely in the the thing, but uh, yeah, that's the way she goes. That's the way she goes. All so- right, that's the list. Tell us which one's your favorite. Tell Putty he's stupid. Thank you for watching. And uh, do 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 do. Do do. Sucks.